on the decaying streets of Antananarivo, the capital of Madagascar, campaign posters plaster some walls. The occasional van drives around decked in colors of the presidential hopeful, and newspapers are filled with electoral promises. But disenchantment with politics runs deep. I don't have a good feeling about this, and I think that it is a sentiment that is shared by many. Elections were prepared in difficult conditions. The main political actors do not get along. It was done in a hurry. One gets the impression that it was dictated by outsiders without taking into consideration all the actors. As a result, all of that makes me uncomfortable. But despite that, most people still want to have elections because they think that it is the best option to come out of this crisis. Eight cuts by disenchanted donors have deprived the government of cash and power outages are increasingly common while many roads are crumbling. A peaceful and credible vote in Madagascar would be a huge step towards unblocking aid and luring back foreign companies. There are a lot of irregularities. There are many things that are not ready, mainly ballot papers that are not ready in time. And with all that, we get the feeling that the current environment is not really safe and we are worried. With just a few hours to the presidential elections, there are fears that the poll is unlikely to produce an outright winner, prolonging uncertainty until a second round in December. Malagasy youth want change. We need a new force that can help us develop and succeed in life. We'll vote for him because we believe he can save us. More than 30 candidates are running for president. But there are no reliable opinion polls to indicate a favorite among them. Robert Nagelo, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.